Two of the hottest commodities in AI these days are coding agents and vibe coding. OpenAI has released Codex, Anthropic has released Cloud Code, and there are heaps of other coding agents which you can readily use. Now, another trend which I am observing at the moment is that many people are creating these open source projects where you can simultaneously or at the same time run these coding agents for various use cases, especially for comparison. In this video, I am going to share with you this new open source tool which is called as Vibe Kanban and that tool you can use to orchestrate Cloud Code, Gemini CLI, Codex, AMP and few other coding agents quite easily. This tool uh, enables you to quickly review work and start dev servers. You can even track the status of tasks that your coding agents are working on. And it also helps you in centralizing configuration of coding agent MCP configs. Very, very early days, but still, I think the tool is able to at least let you run all of these coding agents one way or another in one terminal so let's get it installed and we will see how it works if you don't know what codex and cloud code is just go to my channel search with cloud code and you will see that i have done heaps of videos around it same goes for codex and same goes for any other coding agent which you might encounter on their github repo and i will drop the link to it in video's description I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. If you're looking to rent a VM on very good prices, you can find the link to Mast Compute um, in video's description. You can also rent GPUs or CPUs from them. And I will also give you 50% discount coupon for a range of GPUs. So please do check them out. Okay, so I'm working in my virtual environment in Coda. It's not necessary, but always a good idea. One of the prerequisites which you need to have is to have Node installed. And I have the recent versions of Node installed. If you don't know how to get the Node installed, I would highly recommend just search my channel. I have done a very simple to follow video on the Node. And by the way, uh, please also hit that like button as it helps a lot really. Okay, so as I'm going to use OpenAI's Codex and Anthropics Cloud, we would need the API keys from there. That is a paid option. For OpenAI, you would need to go to platform.openai.com and for Anthropic's key, you would need to go to anthropic.com. So I already have my keys, so I'm going to just set them in my environment and clear the screen. And even before we install this wipe Kanban, let's first make sure that we have Codex and Cloud Code installed. Installation is fairly simple for Codex. All you need to do is to run this npm command it is going to install it globally on your local system. So Codex in installed as you can see. And the next step is to log into Codex. You will just say Codex login and then you need to log into your OpenAI's API account. It op automatically opens it in the browser. So let me log in here. And you can see that now I am logged into Codex CLI. Okay, next we need to make sure that we install Cloud Code. I believe it's already there on my system, but let's rerun it. And that is also installed. Now, all you need to do, if you just want to check it out, you just need to run this Cloud. And from there, it is asking that it needs permission. So just press enter. And it's already there and you can see that it has shown you my environment um, key which is uh, anthropics key i will be rotating it so don't worry about it now you can also initialize it and all that stuff but i'm not going to go there i'm just going to uh, exit from here for the moment okay so both the agents are installed next let's git clone the repo of vibe kanban as i said i'm also going to drop the link to it in video's description now you can simply install it with npx wipe kanban okay so i would just need to you know log, you know cd to that directory or easier way would be i think to get uh, it installed through pnpm let's first install pnpm with npm and that is done let's now use the pnpm here 
and I'm just going to use pnpm install and then we will run it with the tab. And now it is getting installed nicely. Let's wait. And while that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are our very good friends at Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. And you can see that the application is now running on localhost at port 3000. So let's access it. And there you go. So our wipe Kanban is running. There are no projects at the moment. So you can just start by clicking on create your first project. So let me do that. And this is where you would need to specify the path to your repo or create a new repo. So I have just given it the path to one of my local system uh, repo where I am just, I have placed some sample files. And then you can even give it, you know, other stuff like project name, some setup scripts and all that stuff. But I'm just going to go as is. Let's create, create the project. And once you click on create project, it also opens up this settings page where you can set your theme, you can set your task execution. There are a lot of executors, as you can see, from CloudCode to AMP, Gemini and few others. I have just gone with CloudCode and let's go with editor as VS Code. There are other options too, as you can see. And if you want to sign into your GitHub, you just need to give your personal access token. Uh, you can also, I'm not going to connect at the moment, few notifications and stuff privacy some global tasks which you want to do and then you can click on save settings and you can see that the project is created i'm just going to click on this project and from here you can create your first task at what needs to be done you can even use a template to pre-fill this form like you can say okay let's uh, refactor the code and this is the description how good is that really really like it so there's nothing in that repo at the moment so i'm just going to maybe cancel it i will put it in some values and then we will refactor the code how is that so for that let me maybe uh, i will just open a new window and then i will quickly take you to that github repo so as you can see that I am in this directory, I'm just going to do git in it and I'll just keep it as is. Let's create a quick file here. It's a very little dirty sort of uh, demo which I'm doing at the moment. So don't worry about these warnings. I'm just adding this and then I can commit it here. Something like first commit or whatever. And that is all done. Okay, so now we have our Git ready. Uh, we should be able to see some um, .git files and stuff. So everything looks good here. Nice. So you can also check the Git status and things. I'm just going to create the task here. And I'm going to use this template of refactor. And I'll just keep it as is. And let's create and start. So it is going to start it. And on the right hand side, you can see that um what it is doing so this is a checklist which we gave it it is attempting the path here it is still working in progress refactoring so it will be in review and all that stuff there you go so it is also showing us the log can i make it a bit bigger i can't maybe i can there you go so it says that it is it still can't find my file at the moment it seems And now it is able to, you know, read my file. It seems it takes a bit of a time. I'll just make it up so that you can see what it is doing. And it has done all of this stuff. So it has, it, it is checking the refactoring checklist, which I gave it. Very customizable. You can simply run it there like that. And this is a to-do list. It is checking this file. And then it is, I believe, still working through it. It is list the directory. You see, it is uh, doing the checklist as it goes through. Pretty interesting. I will let it run so that you can also see. Okay, because I don't have any test or anything like that. 
and it is checking the functionality it is i think it is even executing it in the sandbox very nice anyway i will let it run and then i will show you what it does it's almost there yep output remains the same but pretty good there you go now it is reviewing and did you see the notification review interesting and then it is telling us all the stuff which it has done in terms of refactoring there are some differences if there are any they're not and you can have of course multiple runs and stuff and this task has been completed and as i said you can just go create it with multiple stuff so if you click on settings these are all the settings which you can check out and task templates are there you can pre-define the task template and you can customize it too another cool thing is that you can have um, you know multiple mcp servers and most of these providers do provide some pre-built mcp or model context protocol servers if you don't know what that is just start my channel again i have done a full tutorial end-to-end -end on this mcp stuff and that's it so pretty good i would think i would say far much better experience than actually using uh the cloud uh you know cloud, uh, cloud code or any such tool so really good start uh, i'm quite impressed by that and i have tested few others too i think this one is quite better let me know what do you think if there is any uh similar tool you use please put it in the comments happy to check it out if i haven't already on the channel please like the video and share it among your network and subscribe to that channel if you haven't already thank you for all the support